Hey, what's up, everybody? Thought I would just do a little devlog, show uh, show people what I've been working on in terms of uh, in terms of the game. Let me let me boot it up here. Yeah, still still have a title for it. Gonna be working on that pretty soon. Still just had the uh, the two ship types: narrow narrow uh, shot, wide shot. Uh, then in terms of style, these are basically just the way the uh, the options behave when you pick up uh, options. Um, the the first one is like the options fire like a wavy beam, similar to what you have in uh, Futari. Uh, style B, they just fire a straight beam. Um, and then when you move left and right, the options don't sway. So if you select A or C, the options will sway. So B is just basically straightforward uh, beam. And then C, they uh, they sway, but they fire bullets instead of uh, instead of a beam. So let's just go with A for now. See, so yeah, I made some uh, placeholder building assets just to give the environments a slightly more slightly more finished feel. Suggest you know, suggest an actual level. Better than the, uh, better than the checkerboard we had. I'm thinking about making the buildings destructible, similar to what you have in Dodonpachi. Um, but right now, they're just static background assets. And you'll see, like, a lot of stuff, like, overlaps in ugly ways. Like, you'll see the tanks climbing on top of the, uh, the buildings. You'll also see them floating in midair. None of the assets are, like, orchestrated properly so that they, um... Like on, are on their proper layers. This is a mid boss. He doesn't have any behavior yet. When we get to the bosses, you'll see that all the bosses have the same placeholder uh, bullet patterns right now. Um, but I'll be working on giving them better, uh, better, unique patterns in the future here. One thing you will see when we get to the bosses, I did add uh, like phase changes to them. So now when you get when you uh, reach the uh, partition points of their health bar, they will phase change and they will shift to a new pattern. And there was, is a little uh, animation that a little recoil animation that plays on the uh, on the bosses. I haven't added it to the mid bosses yet, which is why you didn't see it a moment ago, but you will see it on the bosses. Um, so yeah, when we uh, when we get to the uh, the first partition on the health bar, you'll see that he kind of recoils left or right. Basically just picks a random direction, recoils that way. Then he returns to the center, starts his second pattern, which is this weird... Got a pattern there. Uh, the bombs now have uh, area of effect damage, so you actually have to throw them on the boss if you want to do maximum damage. And what happened there towards the end is the uh, I have simulated slowdown now, so if there's a certain number of bullets on screen, the uh, the game will actually uh, slow down to emulate the uh, you know classic arcade slowdown. I have to fine tune it still, but uh, the uh, it feels pretty good when you're fighting something with a really dense pattern and the uh, everything starts to slow down. So yeah, stage two here. Um, I really want stage two to feel like aesthetically different than stage one. So going with this kind of uh, different, totally different palette, uh, purples and blues. Yeah, basically a, a battleship stage, but over water. I do have a boat enemy I'm working on, but the, it's not in the level currently. So you'll have boats, uh, boats flying around on the uh, on the water there. Well, not flying around, but floating around. And then these, uh, these big uh, battleships, what happens is if you destroy the engine in the back, they kind of fall off screen like that. Um, not perfectly happy with that behavior yet, but uh, it's a start. Here we have some kind of tank floating in midair. Oh, so yeah, the mid-bosses do have the recoil behavior, but apparently the, the first mid-boss didn't. So yeah, there's no real sense of escalation yet in uh, the stage two level design. It's basically just placing stuff kind of randomly to uh, get a sense of how how these battleships would look and feel. But yeah, I think uh, I think it's promising.
just have another boss. I've been looking at uh, looking at the Dodonpachi bosses and kind of just sketching them out to try and learn uh, about learn how to be a better better pixel artist. Um, so yeah, right now all the forms are like very Dodonpachi esque. So yeah, stage three is kind of like a uh, a forest uh, forest base, and here you have some issues with like the buildings just appearing on top of the uh, the trees. Yeah, in typical arcade fashion, stage three is when the game is supposed to really pick up in uh, in difficulty. So I've tried to. Um... Ah, get that feeling of escalation throughout the game. The mid boss is kind of unimpressive. Just this tiny little, uh, tiny little guy probably belongs more appropriately in uh, stage one. Uh, whoa! But yeah, that's all we have for stage uh, stage three. Moving into stage four, moving out of the four. I really like this idea that like when you shift from sh stage to stage, the beginning of the next stage will kind of show you leaving the previous stage. So I've tried to. Uh, Put some trees in here to suggest that we're leaving the uh, leaving the forest and heading into this more kind of uh, steel and concrete military base. Here you have some tanks using a pattern from Futari. You'll see there's a ton of a ton of patterns that I've lifted straight from Futari and tried to emulate them in this in this. Ah, uh, this one this one included. Noticing uh, OBS struggling to uh, struggling to record, so I'll probably call it here. Um, but yeah, that's where we stand in terms of in terms of progress. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, throw them down in the comments. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.